The governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party in the November 11 governorship election in Kogi State, Murtala Yakubu Ajaka, says he is confident of victory because the people of Kogi State are with the SDP. He spoke during his campaign in some of the remote communities in the state. We have details in this report. A few days to the November 11th governorship election in Kogi State, the candidate of the Social Democratic Party, Murtala Ajaka, is leaving no stone unturned as he is visiting all the communities he says has been left out for the past eight years by the present administration. I have a personal interest in making sure that Buri should be returned to board because I know his capacity, I know he's able, and I know he can deliver. He's, he's filled with milk of human kindness, and he can give assistance to women in particular. And the youth, we are believing in him, and God will see him through. This is a revolution. We want to change Kogi State for good. We don't want this dilapidated building in the name of school. We want to a better. We want a better life for our people. We want our children to grow from a good school, not them sponsoring their students to uh, America while we were here suffering ourselves. In every community, Murtala Jaka is welcome with endless crowds who come out to hear his message of hope. For the people of Kogi State. In Muri movement, what we are waiting for is the day of election. And I believe with all this campaign, Muri has already won his election because everywhere you go, Muri is just like MTN. Muri for the youth, Muri for the women, Muri for everybody. The SDP governorship candidate believes he must reach out to the people no matter the terrain, able him to interact with the people he is going to serve if he becomes the next governor of the state. One of the major challenges of this local government is the problem of erosion. By the grace of God, when we get this power, we are going to address that. That's the major problem of this local government. And of course, the absence of governors. As I'm talking to you now, this local government does not have a council chairman. The council chairman has been incapacitated for the past two and a half months, uh, two and a half years. They have no replacement. Somebody who is an appendage of power is the one dictating the power. So this is the kind of situation that we find ourselves in the state. So by the grace of God, we are going to address that. Mr. Ajaka also promised to change the narrative in terms of insecurity, bad roads, mismanagement of public resources, and public administration, which he says is going on with the current administration in the state.